Hi everybody, welcome to another video. We're going to go back onto the topic of cost-benefit analysis again today. And we're going to talk about what we call the base case. You can't have a cost-benefit analysis without a base case. So we're going to go into why it's so important and how you can go about defining it. Okay, so what is the base case first of all? In short, the base case is the world without the project. That's right, your project doesn't exist in this world. So a lot of effort, a lot of energy goes into your project. What's that going to be? Or maybe your options and all of that. You've defined your problem and how you're going to solve your problem. But you've got to think about what's going to happen if you can't go ahead with your project. If this project does not get funded, what is going to be the scenario? So you've got to think about that very carefully. And also as well, even if you're very confident that your project is going to go ahead and you know, the funds there and everything, how are you going to define the benefits if you don't have a yardstick for comparison? And that's what your base case is. It is your yardstick to compare your project with. You don't know how much you're benefiting in if you don't have your, your base case, your yardstick for comparison. So for example, you may have a hospital for, and this hospital may have an extra I don't know, four or five hundred beds. And because you've got all those extra beds, you can deal with all those extra patients and people don't have to wait so long for operations, people don't have to wait so long for care and all of that. That's all great, but that doesn't mean an awful lot if you don't have something to compare it with. What would the world be like if you didn't have those extra beds? Are there other ways to it? And what would you do? What? How would, surely there'd be things, people just wouldn't just lie around dying. There, there'd be alternative scenarios and that has got to be where you've got to think about it very, very carefully. Very carefully. Also as well, the base case isn't just the state of the world as it is. Because a project and the benefits of a project potentially can go on for a very long time, going out very far into the future. It could be 10, 20, even 30 years into the future, some of these projects, and the stream of benefits. So you've got to factor in what is going to happen. Is there going to be some sort of expenditure in your base case just to keep things going? In most cases, you probably will have something. If the situation is going to get very bad, or it's going to be bad in a few years' time, there's going to be at least some sort of action taken. Obviously not going to be as high cost as what's going to be proposed in the project, but something just to keep things going. Another thing as well, you've got to bear in mind that people can learn to adapt, and you've got to factor in that as well. What will people do if a certain service isn't available? What will people do if they can't get somewhere because there's not sufficient transportation. What are they going to do if there isn't sufficient health care? What are they going to do if you're, there isn't schools for children? That people find other ways around that. And that's what makes it very difficult because you've got to reject going forward what these responses are and what these changes in behaviour is going to be. But they all need to be factored in. And the most important thing is, it needs to be realistic. And many times I've done many cost benefit analysis and I've seen base cases that have been quite unrealistic. It's assumed the world is going to fall apart. And that's often because action hasn't been proposed or hasn't been taken or, or believed not to be taken because we've just looked at it very simply as, hey, we don't do it, all this is going to happen. We haven't factored in what I mentioned before about going forward and how you've got to predict, predict um, changes in human behavior, how you've got to be prepared for alternative forms of investment, alternative strategies, even policies that could actually address some of these things. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Just remember, you've got to get it right. The base case is very important. It needs to be as accurate as possible. Thank you very much. If you liked today's video, click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this going forward, I'll be uploading more videos. Some of them on cost benefit analysis, some of them on other areas of economics. Click the subscribe button. Thank you. I'll be seeing you soon.